I've always felt I have stories to tell. I have a very busy mind, and sometimes those stories feel like they need to be told. That is what helps carry the idea forward. In the early days when I started using a camera, I did document things, but that very, very quickly changed to where I started performing for the camera. I realized the camera helped me to make my thoughts these tangible objects. I don't want to do things that are so predictable. I don't want to have the answer before I get to the end. I want to slowly work it through till I get those answers. Otherwise, I think, why am I doing this? This could just be, I could just take on any design job and get to the end a lot faster. I think the journey is really one of the most exciting parts. You know, allowing your mind to take it to all of those different levels until you feel you've resolved it. And at the end, you have this thing, whether this thing is a sculptural thing or whether it's a photographic thing. You know, I find inspiration all around me. It can come from something very personal within me. It can come from something that I've seen. It can come from a conversation I've had. Sometimes it's just handling materials. People think they can classify you and you're a painter or you're a photographer, but I don't like classifying myself. I'm an artist, I come here I explore and I create, and if that creation takes me outside of the norms of photography, that's great because I'm all about this idea that anything can be a negative. You don't need a camera. You can use the materials you have around you and you can create.